Fresh Sales CRM tutorial for beginners. Hello guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to give you a tutorial of Fresh Sales platform and how you can use it for your own customer relationship management and how what are the features of this platform. So let's get into it. So first of all, you have to open freshsales.com and it basically goes by the name freshworks.com when you type it into the URL bar. This is the main page of Fresh Sales. So here you can see that you can configure the right deals and share accurate quotes with our CPQ. With native CPQ, Fresh Sales helps you streamline your sales and track documents activity app with ease so you can continue with this platform by very easily the button which says try for free and it manages contacts and contracts in one place it also helps you to save time managing pricing and codes with cpq and you can have the customer testimonials right here you can see it is a very authentic and it is a very highly efficient platform which you can use for crm so i'm just going to click on this button which says try for free and i'm going to sign in so you can either sign up with google to have a 21 day free trial or you can sign up with email the choice is yours i'm going to connect it to continue with google and then i'll get back to you guys okay so now it has asked me and it has given me two trials the one is the premium trial which is for the team size which is uh, which is going to be from three plus and it is a 21 days free trial and customize the CRM, manage your teams and build advanced automations and there is a free crm also available on first sales which says it has a team size up to three and manage contacts and deals build basic automations and connect your apps to the crm free for up to three users so i'm just going to continue with this one okay so now which industry are you in a um, business services uh, SaaS, financial services, manufacturing, e-commerce, others. I'm just going to say I'm in manufacturing. I'm going to get started. Okay, so let's continue and you are on the platforms. Okay, so now it is asking me to connect your Google Apps to CRM. You can bring your contacts. You can add your Gmail and you can also add your Google Calendar. I'll do it later, so I'm not doing it right now. So here you can see that this is the main dashboard of your first sales when you get connected and when you basically log in. You can create a workflow. You can add a deal. You can import your contacts. You can add user and you can visit the help center. You have couple of options right here you have dashboards you have contacts you have deal management you have sales conversations you have automations you have settings and you have a launch pad so i'm just going on to my dashboards right now oh so these are this is my basic dashboard and here you are going to see all of the analytics of your um, platform that is happening like pipeline trend you are going to lead generation by month this month leaderboard opportunity pipeline so these are all the things that, that are basically happening around your platform you can see the sales dashboard you can see the analytics and you can see also you can also see the activity dashboard from this option in the analytics section you can have a curated out of the box report you can have a custom report and you can also collaborate so i'm just going to let's get started and you can see all of these right here the next thing is basically contacts you're going to add contacts into your account in order to have some kind of people that you're going to work with and that you can assign tasks to and also the customers that you will be having your relationship management for so here you can see that these are some contacts that have been added that have been pre-added and these are all the people of the platform that i can basically go on and connect to you can click on this option to add a contact and it is going to open up the form that you have to fulfill in order to add the contact into your fresh sales dashboard so here you can see that you have to add the first name you have to add the last name you have to add an account and email you can have you must have a mobile number work sales owner subscription status whatsapp subscription status sms status here you can see that unsubscribed subscribed or not then you have a life cycle stage and status so all of these things must be fulfilled when you are done you can just click on this option save and you are going to have a contact at an editorial list so this is how you can add a contact in order to create the workflow just click on this option and here you can see that uh, you're going to have to create a workflow first of all you have to uh, add the template whenever contact is added add task whenever contact is added send email whenever deal is added add task send email whenever contact is added add task and send email so i'm just going to use this template right now and you can see that enable workflow enabling this workflow I'll activate it right away without any changes to customize click edit so i'm just going to click on edit workflow right here and i'm going to edit it right now so that i can show you guys how you can have a customizable workflow in your first sales dashboard so now uh, whenever contact is added add task and send email so here you can see that if you want to customize it you can just go on and do that you can also add the description into it then you have modules run this workflow for contacts all accounts or deals then you have sales activities you can basically choose these one as well when to trigger when a record is created or you can change the trigger to when a record is created or updated every day every week and then you have a run for once for each record or you can change that as well depending upon your need then you have what conditions should be met you can add a condition right here and then what action should be executed add a task trigger webbook or send email to sales owner and you can add a task as well 
update all related things so these are all the tasks that i've added so after you're done you can just click on this enable and this workflow will be enabled so after you're done with everything just click on this enable and your workflow will be enabled so going back okay so the next thing is basically when you have added into workflows you can get started you can qualify your leads you can close the deals and add tasks when you click on this option you can add different tasks into your workflows i'm going to show you how you can do that as well so you can simply click on this option add deal and you can add a name of the deal let's say i want to have it as a test deal then you have an option to add the deal value how much the deal is has the value so i'm just going to name it like 10 and then you have your account name you can add choose the account let's say i want to add this deal to my own one account then you have related contacts if you have any contacts you can just go on and search and you can add it to that then you have your own sales owner that is me and then you have your currency you can change your currency if you want to these are us dollars right now so i'm just going to go with it and after you're done with everything just click on this option which says save and your deal will be saved so this is how you can add a new deal so there are a lot of things that you can do you can create workflows as i've showed you you can keep a check on the workflows as well you can add filters to the workflows you can add automations you can you can add deals in different tasks you can import contacts from anywhere you can add your users and you can also help on this platform if you want to so this is a really amazing platform when you're doing crm because crm is an important step when you're running a business if your relationship with your customers are not very healthy and not very good then uh, your business is not going to thrive very much so you have to basically have a whole department for that who are going to build good relationships with your customers so that next time they want to buy things from you okay so let me share with you the pricing of first sales the first package that we have on first sale is the growth package and it is free for three users in this package you can get a powerful crm automation to help growing sales teams avoid repetitive work and spend more time selling so it is basically 15 dollars per user per month which is built annually and you can also have 18 dollars per user per month which is billed monthly so if you go for annually you get two dollars uh, of each month so this uh, package includes contact account and deal management built-in chat email and phone ai powered contact scoring up to 2000 bot sessions which are per month and sales sequence with one cpq license so there is another plan which is for 39 dollars per user per month if you bill it annually or and 47 dollars per user per month with if you bill it monthly and uh, includes everything in go growth plus multiple sales pipelines it has time-based workflows it has ai powered deal insights and next best action up to 3000 bot sessions per month and sales teams and territory management and the other plan the next enterprise version which basically has your crm way with advanced customization governance and controls it is for 69 dollars per user per month which is billed annually and it goes to 83 dollars per user per month if you bill it monthly so here you can see that you have everything in pro plus custom modules ai based forecasting insights audit logs up to 5000 bot sessions per month and dedicated account management so you can just go on and configure the price and code so uh, there is a supercharged fresh sales with add-ons it is basically generate branded documents like invoices codes and onboarding documents and contracts with dollar 19 per user per month it has rich document built in e-signature and accurate code generation so you can go on and choose the package depending upon your business size and depending upon your needs so you can just go on and buy the plan that you want and the growth as you i have told you it is free for three users so you can also use the free fresh sales if you are just into small business or something so i think this will be a fresh sales will be a very good option for you when you're looking for your crm needs to be fulfilled so you can just go on and buy any plan that you want so this was it for today's video guys i hope you found it helpful please give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe to software it's made easy thank you